How you doing? Bo Jesse Christopher here. I play Gromit. My name's John Field and I played Nathaniel. We're at Leo Creo State Beach. This is where we shot some of the scenes from Point Break that we think are pivotal to moving the story forward. Nice. So we wanted to have you down here and kind of show you some behind the scenes look at what we remember yes. and where it all happened. God. That was <laughs> you couldn't have said it I better. I could right? not have said it better. <laughs> So I think in this area was like, we had the bonfire, again, you know, towards the end of the movie, when Keanu's character, Johnny Utah, was, you know, he was hot on the trail, and we had to make a decision one way or another to kind of cut our, you know, cut our stock loose and just get out of town or kind of go for the last bank robbery, and this is basically where we set up the campfire scene. Do you realize that we have hit 30 banks in three years and they haven't been able to touch us? And all this does is up the stakes of the game. I don't know if Swayze called you the night before we did this scene. Swayze called me every night. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Hey, buddy. I'd like you to start calling me again every night, though. I'd like that. I would, too. Uh, but I remember Buddy called me, which I appreciated. Buddy, a.k.a. Swayze, called me the night before, as I'm sure he called everybody. And we started to work this scene out and come up with some ideas that would really help move the story forward. And I think we came up with some pretty good ideas. Yeah, it was short, it was sweet, but it was effective. Yeah. You act like nothing happened. Relax, Nathaniel. Don't tell me to relax, Bodie! I think, you know, one of the things for us as surfers, John and I actually surfed before the film, was making oh, it... Oh, yeah. That's why we're here, because we surf. We surf. That's right. Not, not because we're real, the only guys. real surfers. Right. So I think some of that natural, organic dialogue by hanging out, surfing, working out, being here, and just, you know, getting those late-night phone calls from Buddy, from Buddy Swayze, uh, really were effective. So yeah. that meant a lot. Thank you, Buddy. Yeah. Um, and so this is where we shot that scene, a precursor to the climax, yeah, right and, there. And I right, think right here. I, I think the dialogue was a little something like your balls, man. <laughs> no, wait, that was different scene. Really different scene. <laughs> um, uh, what, God, what was my dialogue? Uh, I'm if scared, you can remember, man. I'll give you a hundred dollars right now. <laughs> hundred bucks, you can do his line right now. Uh, okay, so something to the fact of, um, uh, and I am scared. So I say we get the hell out of here now, tonight. Okay. Yes, that was it. <laughs> That's the fucking line. That's the cadence We're, and everything. And it wasn't about an hundred large. The words. It was the emotion. The feeling. It was the emotion behind the words. Totally. Okay. I so felt, I felt it then. I feel it now. Thank Amazing. you. Is this real? That's yours. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, that's real. Fucking act. Thanks, buddy. I mean, this is serious shit, and I am scared. Okay. So I say we get the fuck out of here now, tonight. Do you remember shooting the poster? I do. In fact, Remember I have we a... walked down to that rocky point where we had our costumes on, our guns and yeah. shit? I actually have a pretty neat story. I don't know if you remember the story. I'll tell you when we get over there. Okay. We shot the poster right up over this hill. Let's go. Okay, here we are. This is where we shot the poster for the movie Point Break. Right, John? That's right, Bo. Um, it's actually a beautiful backdrop in which to shoot the poster, so I think it ended up being a pretty unique poster. Yeah. And we, you know, so we started shooting some photos, and yeah. you know, shooting, shooting, thinking, okay, you'll step in, and we'll have the four bank robbers on the rock. You know, there's four bank robbers right. in the movie, the four horsemen shot. The more the story is, there's only three guys in the poster. Swayze, Philbin, and Legro. But here's the, the big reveal. Of our characters, but. Their masks are on the poster, but what the truth is, is that I was there, my mask was on, his mask was on, James Legros' mask was on, but Swayze, for reasons unknown, did, not appear, him. It, it, it did not appear in that shot. So that's another mystery. So buddy, I wanna know what the answer is. But, Where were you? But here's the kicker. They had to pick one of the three guys to, to cut the mask off and put his president mask on, of course, they chose me because I was the greenest of the group, the low man on the totem pole, and the youngest. I took one for the team. They always go to the young guy, like, hey, will you do this? And he's like, sure, because he was stoked but to I, do it, right? And I, we're like, no, I'm wearing my mask. I, I actually, I did, they did not ask me that, nor did I know. But, you know, it is what it is. But if you look at the poster from the neck down, that's me. OK, so. Here we are, John, with uh, the location that I think we did some night surfing and some other scenes. Football scene. Right, this is where the football scene took place and the importance of the football scene. As far as the dynamic between Swayze and Keanu and the competitive nature, yeah. 
you know, in the adrenaline feeling that, would you agree that this scene kind of helped kickstart that with the with the tackle yeah, totally. into the water? <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? You get all these guys, we're all working out like they were weights on the set, it was night, we're like, oh, take your shirt off. I just can't remember all the directors going, take your shirt off. Right. We're all like tackling, and Patrick's an athlete, you know, yeah. Keanu's all buff and strong, and nobody wants to be a, you know, seem like they're not into it. Right. So it was contact night. We really got into the competitive nature of it as as people doing the movie, but also the characters, yeah. and it, it really lent a hand to, I think, the authenticity of, of that sort of, a, a, you know, male Music. testosterone, yes. adrenaline driven sort remember of thing. Remember Patrick, like, there was like, Patrick it's gnarly, you know, and he, he is. fucking, I, I don't know, like, he, like, was throwing blocks and shit, and I was like, he yeah. was for real, was like, do this for real, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> do this even for real, even though the camera wouldn't see it, and not, yeah, even right. though the camera wouldn't <laughs> see it, he's doing full-on blocks, you know, yeah. remember the wrestling, you and Jimmy yes. McGraw, we all started in wrestling, between like, shots. in between shots, we're sitting around going, Want to wrestle? Yeah. Like, and just going, oh, you're on your and then, like in the sand, going, come on! You'd get, bring the, it. You'd get pissed, he'd oh, get pissed, furious. and then you'd bring that into the scene and it just helped feel it. It wasn't on purpose, it just kind of happened, but that's it was a lot of fun. Anyway, yeah, the that's beach. the beach right there, man. That's where it all went down. Jeff! It's a place of football! Neptune's net behind us. That's the scene with, you know, Keanu Reeves, Lori Petty, where they first meet. He convinces her to go undercover by teaching him how to surf. Right. But surf I want to. Surf instruction. That's my specialty. Really. It is. Pro John Phil. Surfinstruction.com. It is. Pro Surfinstruction.com. Did I say that? I teach surfing now. Did you you said that? it. Yeah, I was going to try to endorse you, but I think you said it best. Uh, John Philbin. They're using a lot of movies now. They do? Actually, they do. Uh, we can't talk but, about them. No, we can't but, talk about But they do. So all the surfing was done in Hawaii, you right. know, with us. The, the lion's share of the surfing yeah. was that you saw was, in the movie. I mean, it was my first time ever going to Hawaii Wasn't was that because a dream of this movie. True? When yeah. we got, when you when we were surf pipeline, it was perfect. You yeah. were a veteran. You had been there, and I had never been there. And, and you basically kind of taught me how to do it in a roundabout way yeah. because I had never been there. Right. And uh, what a time that was. You, me, Matt Archibald yes. being towed in. <laughs> We were doing toe and surfing on the with west the Condon side. Brothers. Remember, uh, on the Who west side, yeah, Makaha. Makaha. The left's on the other side of Makaha. The Condon brothers invented a way to tow in people behind their jet skis. Right. Sound familiar? Exactly. But they started that way back then when we were doing. That's what I wanted to talk about. We didn't know what was happening. Yeah, we were just trying to happening. get in the shot. Yeah. So being towed in at like you know not crazy big, but like the lefts in, in uh, yeah, the Makaha, left's Makaha in the center. Yeah. And then, you know, the big bouncy uh, warbly rights yeah. or high tide. And way backwash. outside Makaha, they tow us in way outside. They go, stay high on this wave, John. Right. Like, those guys know everything. Those right. watermen in Hawaii are the best watermen in the world, the best surfers, the best lifeguards. Right. And they really gave, helped us make this movie possible. Right. Uh, Bo Jesse Christopher. John Philbin. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Point break. say that Point Break was probably the most fun movie I ever did in my life. <laughs> it's about going for it. And it is definitely an a adrenaline rush, and I enjoy it. You never know what's coming your way, but it's kind of fun. The challenge. We get heavy adrenaline pumps sometimes doing some of the work that we do. Explosions, high falls. Car hits. And the stunts are just off the wall. He's a real searcher. What's he searching for? The ride. The ultimate ride. We all want to kind of push the envelope and stand as close to the edge as possible. We search for that edge, that place that takes us out of our bodies. And that edge can be a very dangerous place. You know, it's sort of testing yourself. You know, it's you against either a wave or a mountain or jumping out of an airplane. 100% pure adrenaline. Other guys snort for it, jab a vein for it, and all you got to do is jump. The film's about surfing, but they're adrenaline junkies. And so I wanted to find as many ways as I could to establish adrenaline and um, 
I brought in skydiving, which is, you gotta have kahunas in your throat for that one. Donnie, you're about to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. How do you feel about that? So the first jump is is beyond fear. It's it's 100 sensory overload. It's like, what am I doing? This is absolutely out of its mind. Uh, but once you get on the ground, it's like, oh my God, get me back up there. How do you like it, Donny? Amazing! Fucking amazing! The scariest thing I've ever done in my life, and I've I've done a couple scary things. But jumping out of an airplane, if you ever get tired of living, or if you ever get bored or if you're ever, you know, heartbroken or whatever, jump out of an airplane. Life is sweet. I'll tell you what, if you want to know what skydiving is like, get a friend on a freeway, late at night, no traffic, clean and sober, go 120 miles an hour, have your friend drive 120 miles an hour, and all you have to do is stick your head out the window. That's how fast you're going, 120. But you don't feel like you're falling, and that's what Patrick kept saying. You don't feel like you're falling. You don't feel like you're falling. And you don't. You could see somebody who's a speck in the distance and go into a tracking position and just take off and go from 120 miles an hour to two, two to 300 miles an hour in the blink of an eye. It truly was uh, the, the experience of flying. Swayze, uh, from day one, said, guys, look, I want to pop in this videotape and show you something that I'm doing that I'd like you to do as well. We gotta go, life is short. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Swayze, on my back. Do you gotta do it, you gotta do it, you gotta come out and do it, you gotta come out and do it. Finally, he shut him up. I said, OK, I'll go skydiving with you. OK, I will. But I was committed then, and I didn't want to go. Damn it! But I didn't do any extra madness. And they were all calling me names. I'm like, yeah, uh-huh, and I'm a girl. Said, OK, girl. <laughs> Patrick Swayze uh, was out practicing afterwards on weekends and everything else doing skydiving. They'd pick him up from the set and take him out, he'd go skydive. Well, the challenge that the production placed in my way is no way while you're shooting this movie are you gonna be jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. They're like, you're not insured when you go up on that plane, you know? You're not insured, we're making a movie. If you get hurt, do you have any idea how much money you're costing us? You know, like, producer talking, we're like, uh, okay. Then we're like, driving up to Big Bear in Patrick's car and jumping out of airplanes. He always said, it, you know, it's gonna sell the skydiving when I go out of the plane, and it's really me. And he was right. It, even to this day, when you see me go, adios amigo, throw that gun back in the plane and fall out backwards out of that airplane, the camera goes and just watches me go, you still get people out there going, was that you or a stunt double? And I'm going, watch it again. You know, show me a cut. <laughs> adios amigo! My adrenaline junkie side is, uh, on skis. I surf, I ride motorcycles. I've skydived. I've gotten uh, helicoptered off a glacier in, uh, in the Alps. I surf good waves, and that fulfills my need for that adrenaline thing. You know, films are a great rush. You don't have to be a participant, but you are participating by just sitting there watching it all happen. And, and damn, you know, I wish I was really there. I wish I could do that, and this is as close as I can get to it, you know? In that final skydive sequence, oh my gosh, you know, you really, you're actually soaring with Johnny Utah as he's struggling to hang on to Patrick Swayze. This kind of visceral filmmaking is what puts us in the scene and why we love the good action films. It's exciting enough, they get a taste of it, which a lot of people is, is just what they want as opposed to actually having to do it. I mean, action movies obviously take you on a ride, you know, and I mean, the idea with Point Break was to have a movie where you went on an incredible ride. In the end, it really accomplished that.